Afghanistan? Yeah, yeah, we're good. Hello, my name is uh, Billy Sichone and I'm Deputy Vice Chancellor here at uh, the Central Africa Baptist University. And uh, basically my, my role here is to try and help uh, ensure everything is going on well, uh, every activity that has of academic nature uh, falls under my domain. And I've been a Christian for many years and I became a Christian way, way back. And at that time uh, in Zambia, I think there was some kind of movement that God was doing. You know, at the time I got converted, there had been a lot of activity in this country. And when I inquired, uh, I discovered that from about mid-1970s to maybe late 1980s, uh, just around about the time I was getting converted, uh, there were thousands, literally thousands of people that came to Christ. And, and, and there was no mistake, although uh, there was no mistake that there was an awakening, although we who were part of that awakening were not really conscious. We thought, well, this is the way it goes. But you know, thousands got converted in those years. But secondly, um, uh, I noticed that in our circles, uh, in Baptist circles, at Lusaka Baptist Church where I used to attend, we had what is known as Young People's Fellowship or YPF. And every Saturday, we would meet as young people and would have hundreds, sometimes 90 uh, young people thirsting, longing to know about the Lord Jesus Christ. And so uh, since we wanted to know more about, uh, you know, deep in our knowledge in the scriptures, uh, we went through the Baptist Confession of Faith, the first two years from 87 to 89. Then from about 1990 to 93, we went through systematic theology. But the fires of this awakening continued uh, to wane uh, over the years. And so as you come into mid-90s, 2000, the fires were kind of going down. But God raised a movement in this country, and that was called the Reformed movement where people were so anxious to know the truth of God uh, and to deepen their knowledge. But well, like in any other awakening, what I've noticed over the years is that although the, this, the embers of this awakening are wide, in other words, there are many, many people who seem to claim to know Jesus Christ and even those that are saved are many, I noticed that uh, the depth is seems to be not as deep as it was in those early years. When, would I say the, the 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 generation, succeeding generations, don't seem to be as 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 deep. And and so uh, we 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 need really to deepen our faith. We need to deepen our faith among Christian people within the local church and elsewhere. And so uh, when this idea of uh, starting a seminary at our university was uh, mooted, I was very excited and very enthusiastic. And so when, you know, people like Mike and others came along, I said, hey, let's do it because we need to deepen and we need to ensure that long after we have left the center stage, those that come after us will continue to do the work of Christ. From a point of knowledge, from a point of you know zeal that comes from God, and they themselves will be qualified to teach others, uh, and, and this will continue for many years to come. So if you ask me, um, what has it been in Zambia like? There was an awakening. Enthusiasm, fire, zeal, desire to do Great things for God. But with time, that seems to be going down. But admittedly, if you meet people, they say, oh, you know, there's a lot going on. But the question is, what quality is it? There could be a lot of activity that you're doing, but what quality is it? And that's where CABU, I think, is correctly positioned to help to bring about servant leaders who will carry on
the work of Christ.